Hey guys, how's it going today? We're talking about whether or not you should do your Robinson overhaul, the 2200 hour or the 12 year overhaul um, at the Robinson factory or if you should choose to do it at a local dealership. Um, as you guys probably remember about, uh, well, 10 months ago or so, um, we drove our Robinson R44, this is the R66 here, um, the, uh, the 44 that we uh, fl have flown for the last five years or so, we uh, drove it down to the factory and we got it overhauled at the factory. Um, I just wanna talk a little bit about the differences between doing it um, either at the factory or at a local service center. Um, there's definitely the option to do both. We decided um, after a bunch of research and stuff like that, that we wanted to do it at the factory. I'll give you my reasons why. And then uh, kind of follow up thoughts afterwards. So. Uh, the reason this video is coming now is because tomorrow Ruben and I are actually uh, headed down to California. We're going to go pick up the R44. It's got a new paint job. Uh, leave a comment below in what color you think we painted it. You guys have seen our fleet, you've seen our cabries. We've got an orange cabri, a, a green cabri, and a red cabri. Um, so we repainted uh, Foxtrot Alpha Yankee Quebec. It's an exciting new color. Um, I want to see your guys' comments on which color you think we chose for that. Um, it's going to be nice. It's going to be bright. Let's, let's, let's put it that way. So um, Ruben and I are going to take you guys along for that journey. We're just going to do a vlog about uh, the trip down there, um, getting the helicopter from the factory and then flying it home. We're hoping to be able to do the whole trip in two days. We'll see how it goes. Um, it all depends on how the weather is and everything, of course. But um, So that's the plan for part two of this video. Why did we choose to take it to the factory? Well, we did some research. Um, we talked to the local dealers here and everything. And uh, there's, there's many of them, by the way. We have one across the airport. Um, there's one on the island. Uh, there's another one over in Calgary. There's, there's lots of them. And uh, there's actually, the, yeah, even, even closer than that in uh, the interior, there's another one. And um, the, the main thing that it came down to was when we looked at the pricing between the, the kit that you have to order if you want to do it at a local facility and then the pricing that Robinson offers, they were very similar. Um, so it was gonna, it was looking like the costs were gonna be about the same between the two. And uh, when we looked at time frame, the Robinson factory told us that it was gonna be uh, six months for the, for the complete uh, overhaul. And um, they said that we didn't have to uh, pre-book it or anything like that. We could actually just deliver the helicopter. It would go into the queue six months later, it would be done. And um, so that was, that was appealing as well because uh, the local people around here were saying that it was gonna take probably around six months as well. And then um, I had seen um, overhauls from different facilities uh, across Canada, uh, both locally here um, and then all the way out to Quebec. And um, I've seen how the helicopters come back and even with um, new paint and new interior and things like that, you could still see that it was an old aircraft, you know, something that was 12 years old or however old it was when it got overhauled. And, you know, just, it was a little bit disappointing after you see the, the customer spend so much money um, to say, yeah, it's still my old aircraft. I can still see that scratch there that I remember. It's still a little bit worn here. You know, I still remember that, um, particularly on the interior stuff. And um, so what we thought is that with a, a local dealer, somebody at a local service center, um, you're probably gonna get an aircraft back that hasn't been gone through quite as thoroughly um, as you would get from the factory because when we talked to them um, down at the, the Robinson factory, they said pretty much it's gonna get stripped down to every last rivet. It's gonna go, been gone over in 100% detail. Uh, we repaint everything inside and out. Uh, you're basically, when you get the aircraft back, you won't be able to tell the difference between a brand new aircraft and, and your aircraft, your overhauled aircraft. And that was very appealing to us. So we sort of figured if it's gonna be the same amount of money, if it's gonna be the same amount of time, why wouldn't we do it at the factory? With the people that do this on a daily basis, regular, um, they, they've got the entire facility set up to do this. Um, and it's not something that they might do one or two of a year. They do you know, a whole slew of them. And so they're experts at it. So that's why we decided to go to the factory. There's a little bit, uh, obviously, more cost to get it down there and get it back up and everything. Um, but that was the choice that we did. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm just gonna leave this video here and uh, we're gonna go pick up the helicopter. I'm gonna show it to you. You guys are gonna be able to see it inside and out. 
uh, see what you guys' thoughts are on it. I'm gonna see it for the first time as well, which is gonna be cool. And then I'm gonna be able to give you my true feedback on, um, on what I think. I already know um, the feedback on the timeline and the cost. I'll share that with you in the next video. And, um, and then obviously the fit and finish is gonna be the, the really important thing. We're gonna see that together for the first time uh, on the next video. So I'm gonna take you guys along for that journey. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, my, my family and I went up north to visit um, Amy's family, my wife's family. And so we were gone for uh, a week and a little bit. And so, uh, so I just haven't been posting. But uh, I, I thank you guys for being here, uh, for sticking with me on this journey. And I, I look forward to taking you guys down to California and uh, lots more adventures to come in the next little bit. Until next time, you guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.